Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here with me. So today I've got a smaller canvas. I'm working off of a 16 by 12 inch canvas and I've got my pearlescent paints and my intention is to do this slightly differently to see what kind of effect we get. I'm going to use a black background, but I'm going to swipe this time with gold. All my paints are mixed with a pouring medium and all those ratios are in the description box. But my gold is the Precious Gold by Pebio, Iridescent Precious Gold. So let's get on with the process. I'm going to put the base down. This is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. I'm going to get a good consistent layer across the canvas and then I'm going to layer my paints and swipe with the gold. So let's see how this turns out. I normally swipe with either a black or a white. So let's see how this gold reacts with the pearlescent paints and let's see what we can create. I'm just spreading the paint out across the canvas. I'm not gonna worry about pushing it over the edges just yet. All of that will be done when I stretch the design out. I'm gonna now layer the paints on top. And remember, any paint that you add to the top is gonna to add to the volume of the paint on your canvas. So that's gonna allow it to stretch out. So I'm just going to do some lines. I'm gonna take each color one by one, and I'm just gonna pour them in a line formation and then I'm going to take my gold and swipe over the top so one color at a time layering them in a line next to each other and then we'll swipe So for those of you that don't know, last year I wrote and produced an online course and I've had some fantastic feedback about that course and it's about creativity and art, but it's about using creativity and art for mindfulness. So it's all about being in the present moment, enjoying the moment of now, not rushing your process, not rushing your feelings, thoughts or emotions and really being in the moment, but doing that whilst using art and creativity exercises and techniques. So if you're interested in it, I'll drop a link in the comments below and you can find out some more information. So let's get on with this process. I'm going to swipe using the gold. So I'm just going to put the gold on my palette knife and I'm then going to put the gold on top of the surface of the paint that I've already layered. I'm not gonna to apply too much pressure. This is about the two lots of paints connecting with each other. So the gold will connect with the pearlescent paints I've already layered. It's going to literally sit on top of those paints. And then when I move my palette knife, it's gonna glide just on top of the surface of that paint. So the gold is on the palette knife, I'm going to place it on top of the pearlescent paints and I'm just going to slowly drag that palette knife across the surface. I'm not applying too much pressure. The only pressure I'm applying is to allow those two lots of paints to really connect together. You can see here how the Australian Floetrol is already reacting with those paints and that lacing's already popping through. I'll take you in for a close up now and then what we'll do is we'll repeat the process and do this once more.
So remember, when you place your palette knife over your paints, allow the two lots of paint to connect, place it on top and glide it across. Do not apply too much pressure when you're swiping. This has left a really great shimmer on the palette knife. So let me show you a close up of that. Can you see those colors, how they're reacting already? Good, I'm really hopeful because I think the gold is gonna be a really good element to add to this kind of technique and design. And swiping with the gold is something completely different to what I've done before. So I'm really interested to see how it's gonna turn out. So I'm gonna add a little bit more black around the edges. I'm doing that to help the paint that's already on there flow. And with the pearlescent paints, it needs a dark background to work. And the way the pearlescent paints work is the light goes through the paints, bounces off of the dark background. That's why it's always best to use like a black background. And then that light reflects through those pearlescent paints. And that's what makes that, that colour transform when it dries and when you look at your piece, basically. So if you were to do this on a white background, you wouldn't get the same effect. So I'm just going to burst some of those air bubbles with my torch. And then I'm going to stretch this piece out. And as I always say... And if you've watched me for a while, you know this is kind of my mantra. Just enjoy being in the moment and don't rush this part of the process. Really look at the creation on that canvas and really have a think about which direction you want to tilt and where you want your creation to go. So I'm just stretching this piece out now. I'm really wanting to keep some of that negative space. So I really want to keep some of that black base against the pearlescence that we've already layered. So I'm just tilting it from side to side. I turn the canvas around and you'll see that I tilt again. And what I'm doing is I'm just walking that paint slowly across the canvas over the edges and having a look at the overall composition as I do it. As I said, I want to keep some of that negative space, but I do want to stretch these two swipes out a little bit further to enable the paints to really react against the black background and to create a really different contrasting pattern on top. Okay, I think I'm nearly there. I can already see the pearlescent paints transforming and changing colour. I can see where my colours are. And you know what? I really like how the gold has turned out because there's some gorgeous gold lace in, in amongst all of this. And I'm going to show you some of that now. But I'm just going to add a little bit more black to that corner so I can stretch some of the paint further over those edges. And then I'll take you in for a close-up of the wet version. I'll let it dry and then I'll show you a close-up of the dry version. And you're not going to want to miss this because how this transforms is amazing. And it's, do I say it each time? One of my best ones. Um, you decide anyway. So stick around for the dried result. So let me take you in now for a closer look at the wet version. You can see how some of those colours are already transforming and you can see that gold lacing throughout this piece. So that gold lacing is there because we swiped this time with the gold on the palette knife. 
and here I just love all this colour just up there and I love how some of it has shadows I love some of those details and I do love how some of those colours have really infused together it'd be really interesting to see how that dries and this middle section just here where you can see some of the blocks of colour of each of those pearlescent paints that's probably my favourite part of this piece Okay, so let me take you in now for a close-up of the dry version. Are you ready for this? Because I really love how these colours have been magic, dried and transformed. So, without further ado, here is the dried version. <gasps> what a transformation, right? And I love how those colours are just popping through. And because I left some of that negative space, because I've left some of that black background, I feel that it really emphasises those, those colours even more. And that gold, that, that kind of gold swipe throughout with that lacing really makes it pop and really pulls it together. I almost feel, well, the vibe that I'm getting, and I love to hear all of your interpretations, so please share in the comments below. But the vibe that I'm getting is angel wings, and I feel very calm, very angelic kind of feeling when I look at this piece. So let me know what you think. I'm really pleased that you've joined me for this today, and it's a little bit different because this time we've injected the gold swipe into it. So thank you so much for all of your support. I hope you have a great week. And remember, let me know what you think. And if you're trying this kind of design, tag me in your post because I would absolutely love to see what you create. See you soon, everyone. Bye.